Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Couch, Season 2, Episode 4. I am joined here today by Jamond, as always. How's it do? What's going on? Uh, we vibing tonight. I'm not going to scream. I'm on a new, uh, I'm on a scream diet. No screaming for like two to three weeks. It's Halloween. It's be, How are you going to do that, man? It's going to be rough, man. It's going to be rough. It's it's actually just going to be the hardest thing in my entire life, but we'll be okay. All right. Well, we are back. We missed last week. You know, we decided last week wasn't that eventful. And uh, our interviewee couldn't make it, so we tried to push it back for him, but he couldn't make it this week, which we'll get into that later on to this episode who we have here. Um... So yeah, this is uh, week four and week five of season seven. This is going to be our news coverage, of course. Anything else to add, Jamon, before I continue? Witness plug. Of course, and we're going to go right into that uh, right here. It's been a week. All Witness right. has some fire merch. It's really good. I'm going to buy socks because... Uh, I love socks. I love the witness. I don't know. Something about the witness fits. Just the witness logos just kind of look crazy. Maybe not the joggers, but I may get I'm definitely going to get myself a hoodie just because, you know, they got that Copenhagen thing coming up. Mm -hmm. And, and hopefully is... we can get enough money to see that because seeing witness gaming at Copenhagen would be really good. Also, well, Grand Slam gaming and NA. Yeah, witness gaming and NA. When this game, and then they go into Copenhagen would be solid. Also, artist brand slam first land debut, so that also would be very good to see. Uh, and low guy. Oh yeah, and low guy. I forgot about that. Unless it's international too, so it's not at international home. land, dude. Hopefully, we see some of that. Hopefully, we see some hopefully, froyo. Honestly, shit. I was about to say. Hopefully, we see froyo going too. That'd be really cool. But I, I don't, I don't think they will. But if they, if they actually. I don't know. Froyo, I think Froyo would have to. There's no way it's just like in a witness gaming going to just go and not Froyo. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. Especially since I think November 8th, the um, U.S. and Canadian border opens up, if anything. Yeah, I think around, I think around November 8th, actually. So that would be kind of solid. All right. Well, moving on. Uh, support witness gaming and A to come overseas. Or go overseas to EU. Hopefully they do a stunning job as they did against Froyotech. I really want to see them there. I love the NA presence in the EU type of lands. Moving on, we're going to talk about RGL here. And we have team transactions and invite. The last time we, uh, Milkies was the team and alive. They are now officially dead. And Global Clan Panda has stepped in to take their place. They will be finishing off invite taking Milkies' kind of spot. I mean, I think they're just playing for fun at this point because they can't make it to playoffs, so it's just, you know, I guess for experience. That's what I think. <laughs> that's usually what pe that's usually what people would go. You know, even if it's just for fun, having a couple wins and still having those couple wins and invites still pretty big. Even if you don't get the playoffs, just having something under your belt to kind of like prove like, yo, I'm playing invite or not, you know. Yeah, I might I might have rolled up late, but we still kinda we rolled. You know, we we did good or whatever the result may be. It is very sad to see that Milky's is dead because I really, really, really wanted to see Slugmando play invite, like really, really badly. Like I was, I was, I was very sad to see that my boy's team just died. I wanted to see the whole crew just literally play invite, and I've been saying Slugmando invite since he won Div I Two. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, nah, nah, I am, but since he won Div Two. But you know, other than that, uh, hopefully, hopefully they can. Hopefully, he finds another team to play an invite because that would be very, very exciting to see him playing an invite. Is still something I really, really want to see. see and he definitely deserves it as a team. You know, minus maybe whatever the probable causes was. Not gonna say that on stream. But. Yeah, but for the most part, um, Slugmundo invite uh, plus ratio plus Slugmundo is better than everybody in invite plus ratio plus uh. Jordan uh, plus plus ratio again, two times, three times right. actually. Well, Global Clan Panda. On that note, Global Clan Panda has picked up Wendelin from Milky's on Scout, Uber Dragon also on Scout, Tyler and Alexandros on Soldier, Sandblast on Demo, and Dank on Medic. 
Sandblast demo. He's a sleeper. Uh, I'm telling you guys. He's, dude, don't sleep I on saw him. I saw him play Sunshine, and I only saw pipes. Yeah, I was so <laughs> I was so mad. I don't get what it is with scout players playing demo, and they're just like, yeah, f stickies. I love me some pipe action. I pipe it up, pipe it up, pipe it up, man. <laughs> It's fine though. It was it was definitely okay though for the most part. Um, that team, that team looks like they're doing okay. It doesn't look like they hate each other. Uh, I thought that team was going to be a very huge clash of uh, personalities, but it seems for the most part we are actually very fond. So at this point in time, they are they are doing okay. They're doing they're taking their time and invite. They're loving it. They they doing it through. They doing it doing it through. That's all I can really say. Tbh. All right, on that note of global clans, we do have some other team transactions in Invite, and that is on Fire. Uh, Vadi, Paul Dog, and Pandu left the team, unfortunately, and I feel like saying a word on the street. I believe Dingo, Walrex, and Trash have joined the team. I could be wrong about, I think, Trash. I don't know entirely, because I think Um played their match, something like that. So there could be a possible other person. This might not be accurate. Okay, so Dingo is probably just playing. Um, on Ice, Speedy's out, and I think they're still looking for a soldier, but I saw Crypt playing in one of their logs. Oh, you're on After, Ice. It's, this, is, this is very oh. funny. This is, uh, uh -huh. this is very funny because from what I was told, don't know if it's true or not, but... <laughs> These people lost because of losing to the Xanda team. Uh, yes. On, uh, well, I don't remember what this map was. I don't remember when they played, but it was maybe a couple of days ago. But yeah, I, that's the rumor that the team died because they lost to Xanda, but the Xanda team. But at the same time, you know, if we gonna die after losing to that after one L, I, I don't know, man. I, I I don't know. They just they got underestimated too hard, and next thing you know, they just yeah, it was a five two. It wasn't. I mean, they got some rounds. I don't know what the halves were like, but it was a five two. I don't know either, but they got they got underestimated like really really hard, and they just you know Xander team came in clutch. Estrogen took my homie, just came in clutch and got their dub and invite. Everyone thought they were gonna go, which I'm not gonna lie, I did too. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say everybody. I definitely thought they were gonna be like a zero eighteen type beat, but they 16. got their. 016, excuse me. But they got their dub, and they got their dub against, like, an actual, like, not just another move up, like another team that kind of had experience in invite. So that's really good for them. That's really, really good for them. So, you know, good on them. But, you know, sorry about uh, GCF. Wow. But, yeah. 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 Now tell me something. Like that. Yeah, that's that's kind of just similar. I don't know. I just feel if you're going to die after after that, I don't, I don't know, man. That's like... It's, I mean, it's regular season. You're gonna, you're not gonna go perfect and invite unless you're the best of the best. It's, it's just how it is, man. <laughs> like literally. <laughs> all right. But, uh, yeah. That's um, it. I think that's all for the transactions. I don't know about Crypt playing because last time I heard he couldn't play. Um, but he is on Soldier, possibly as a sub. Probably yes, as a sub. Um, but rosters do lock on the thirty first, which is um next sunday not this sunday next sunday yep pretty close i mean week five so it's kind of expected so or the ending of week five so yeah kind of expected um moving on to our invite matches we're gonna start all the way back to week 3a of invite g6 versus ice which this one honestly it might have been a 5-0 but this kind of could have been crucial for ice to make it in the top four which is invite playoffs um, yeah, these stats, you know, kind of 5-0, so kind of hard to put the MVPs all over the place. Jamon, your thoughts? I thought this game was going to be a lot. Oh, my. Oh, give me. Well, ah. Okay. Well, yeah, I think what he's just trying to say, you know, this game probably would have been a bit, um, uh, you know, even. Not as well as a 5-0, which I kind of agree to that. At the same time, maybe a 5-3 would have been my prediction here on this one. But, yeah, it was a complete 5-0. It was done in, like, 15, 18 minutes, I think. So, shocking to see Ice just crumble from down there. And that was before Speedy left, so... Unfortunate to see them lose that way. 
I thought this match was going to be a lot closer, actually. Um, believe it or not. I thought, like, literally, I thought the match was going to be, like, a lot closer uh, to than it was. I kind of expected, like, a like a 5, like, even, like, a 5-2, like, 5-3. I thought, I thought relatively close it would have been, but damn, okay, Yoda, go off. But uh, I thought it would have been somewhat, somewhat closer along that line, but uh, they played, G6 kind of played very dominantly in the first half, and momentum just kind of carried more in the second half. Uh, there were there were some there were some cons that were kind of happening from both sides. Rewatching that demo, but it wasn't like anything crazy, right? But you know, very very good gameplay going coming out from G six, and you know, like both uh, equally, both teams played a pretty some pretty solid games. But you know, like we said, you know, fly like a G six, like a G six baby. Mm-hmm. Like there's nothing else we could do. Like a G six, man. There's dub on dub on dub on dubs, man. For real. For Rizzle, my Dizzle. All right. On the other, uh, moving on, I should say, uh, we go all the way to week 5A. A lot of 5-0s happen. Nothing too important. The next match mm-hmm. to point out is, uh, I believe, Mao versus GCI on the same exact map. Shocker. I guess Sunshine's just a favorite for Ice, is my guess. Uh, <laughs> this was played yesterday, which we'll get into the other yesterday match. But this one was a 5-0. Mal just absolutely, Alpha was just absolutely cleaning the floor. So, eh, I guess it's just textbook sunshine. Once again, I didn't watch it, but it just looked like textbook sunshine. And as you see now, Crypt is playing. So, weird timeline to understand there. Uh, Same thing. I also thought this game was going to just be a lot close, but it seems that, you know, the scouts on Mal, especially even beforehand on G6, just kind of, we're reigning domination along the lines of going back and forth. Uh, also, but I, the one thing to kind of, the one thing that was like the biggest thing for me is that guy only died four times and everyone else died at least more than 10. Oh my God. Actually. Yeah. Besides. Yeah. That's what I remember. So I got died like less. And so the Asian, like literally no deaths to the demo man or, or Asian, but everybody else just like, we already see, I mean, Exile 19, 23, 20, 26, like, taking a shit ton of damage coming in. I think Kev was the most person to take the most, I think Kev was the most person to take the most damage in the server. Um, Guarantee, I don't have your stream up or stats. It was, like, between Kev or Glimmer, not Glimmer. Uh, it may have been damage? Kev or it may have been that took most damage. Oh, like, between um, him or between, like, it Ether. Kev. It was Kev. Okay. Yeah, he, oh, my yeah. God, 253. Kev stat, Kev stat, Kev stat, Kev stat. But uh, no, I'm kidding. But overall, you know, this game, same thing. Very dominant in terms of. Uh, also, I like how you have like a G6 versus Global Con Ice again. <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> huh? Instead of Mal. Where on notable matches, you you have G6 and Global Con Ice again on the sheet. <laughs> when I'm looking at the slide, <laughs> instead of instead of Mal versus Global Clan Ice. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, That's I funny. see it. I see it. I never, yeah, yeah I just copied it and pasted it. I didn't yeah, look at that. It's but all good. For the next slide. Yeah, but, but overall, overall, the game was, the game, again, very dominant in terms of Mal. But, you know, as we switch over to our next match, actually, probably, and Dan can probably flip to that whenever he can, and he can let me know so I don't feel oh, stupid. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll um, go to that one after you're done. But, uh, yeah, once we get to our next game, though, this this game was just very, I wouldn't say in the ballpark. It it was just it was just a, and I wouldn't say complete. It was just kind of a roll, like a little bit. It was kind of a roll, a lot of feeding, right. but still kind of went with it. Um. All right. So yeah, next this one very important match. I would say so. I wouldn't say important. This is just a very hyped up match because this is the rematch of Witness Gaming versus Froyo Tech. This time I actually changed it. This was also yesterday's match. And this one by far was, you know, probably the better of all the matches to be played right now in Invite. Witness this match. Uh, of course, staying first place, of course, Witness Gaming, you know. The underdogs for your tech were not able to get the dub this time. This match was very, very, very hot. Mostly, and I could go all day about how this match was hot and what was not hot about it. But a uh, lot of good, a lot of good stuff coming in from... Uh, scouts this game from both sides ransom and yite and banning and slim like both scouts went super and yes the crits play 
the crits play changed just about almost everything during this match. This match was un unarguably this match definitely was the best an invite that happened in these last couple weeks uh, or this last week and a half week and a half I'd per se. But the, like any time these two go against each other, the match is super crazy. The match is super hot. The match is always consistently really good. Uh, Brand Slam was making really good plays and cleaning up really good damage off artists. Uh, Jay Umpe was getting a shit ton of space in a lot of these really, really clutch situations or these really, really desperate situations. And he's just making the impossible possible, which is absolutely inc just incredible. Uh, same thing coming in from Logai. Logai did some. Logai's survivability is incredible again to a core. He's he's able to stay alive in just the most again the most impossible situations. Uh, and yeah, the the four the Yite four K was really really nice. Uh, same thing with Slim. Slim, uh, despite me talking a little bit more about witness, Slim was really Slim like was just in pure sync with Banny this game in terms of like focus firing, uh, cleaning up after really good kills, cleaning up really good picks. Like they would kill pretty much everybody from Froyo, but if Banny and Slim were up and they knew exactly what to shoot, the people to clean up, it was just one after another, one after another, one after another, drop like flies, consistent drops, consistent drops, consistent drops. Really, really solid. Um, between demos, between Artist and Habib, it was, I was really, I, I would say like anytime I just see Artist play, Especially with the crew, it, it's just it's completely insane. Artist played a solid match. I think Artist did really well again. This like him and Habib did really really well I this mean, match. Looking at the stats here, Artist kind of did take a lot more damage. I don't know if damage yeah, he took he took he took more damage, but in terms of like, I'm I'm in term I'm saying more in terms of like his pacing and more. It's gotten a lot yeah. better since it's gotten a lot better since when he first started playing with uh, Witness Gaming. Like now he he kind of understands, and not even kind of now he understands like the general flow of how fast invite is as a whole. He understands like certain position like where he needs to pretty much position himself. Uh, and the pogos, man, oh my god, the the pogos, the pogos, man, the pogos. I'm always such a fan of like <laughs> jumping. If if dude, if you're a demo man and you can just bogo from one to the other, I, I'm all for it completely all for it i love it and it, it's just something i'm always used to um both teams played really really well especially like i said witness kind of just took the game for like three it may have been three one first half or three zero but the first half was just incredible literally literally incredible mm -hmm. and i almost went to golden cap if Yite didn't play Pyro and just stuff a door through left, it it very well could have been a Golden Cap game, and that could have been a different story. But you know that's definitely for another day, and I don't want to keep 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 going because yeah. we do have <laughs> we yeah. So it was three one. Go we but got a lot of advanced news. Absolutely, to go over. this one was a lot. You know, very hyped up match, and I'm glad Witness was able to defend themselves on Snakewater, which I think Snakewater in the past for Tech have won against them on snake water so they were able to take the dub home proving that they're not just a cough team they're also a cp team so very well done for witness and with that being said our league table now unfortunately puts witness still at second for attack at first being nine and one Witness being eight and one uh like a g6 being six and three mal being five four ice being global clan ice being four six global clan fire being two eight very sad to see them there. Eshton took my homie one and nine. They got a dub, as we said before. And Global mm -hmm. Clan Panda does not have the same like uh, rounds as Milky's, so they're just a totally different team. They didn't hijack it, so they're currently zero and one, only playing against Froyo, getting <laughs> obliterated by Froyo. Yeah, overall, this will be your league table for invite, and like I said, it still looks pretty nice. Uh, very, very. Big shout out, big congratulations to Edward and Took My Homie for taking their first dub and virtually almost killing the team. But uh like I said, uh ultimately, congratulations on the dub. Same thing with Witness, congratulations on their dub, same thing with Mao. Got there were some really NG six. Like I said, really good games this week. Very in interested to see how next week goes, but next week will be more interesting for advanced and invite, in my opinion, since yeah. it will be big a week. Advanced which, on that note, we'll go on to Advance here. Advance, we're cracking down. These are looking back at week four and five. 
Week 6, honestly, we're going to see some rematches in advance due to some teams dying, which actually we'll get right into that in a second. Mm -hmm. After my pretty much summary of weeks 4 and 5, it was Reckoner and Sunshine Week. Very chaotic Reckoner Week and Sunshine definitely, you know, was more stable. On that note, our transactions are pretty short. Um, I did forget one thing here, I believe. But on Blanc Esports, we have Grape Juice on Scout. Tyson is out. This was week four. Goblin Zone, um, they lost two players before. I believe Tojo, or not Tojo. Uh, Bear and uh, Marquise. Yeah, I know. Wage Slaves is the other one I forgot. Um, they left the team, and Q moved to Scout. Or not Q. Sam moved to Scout. Q is on Scout. And Penny joined the team as Medic. Surprising to see that. Not saying I haven't seen Penny Medic before, but I've not seen Medic Penny before. <laughs> um, it's pretty. Ooh. It's pretty good when she. It's pretty good when he's serious. Ooh, like when crew. he's. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. It. No, I was just saying it, it's pretty good right. when he's serious. Google Crew lost Mega Whack. They're still looking for a player. I believe they have one person subbing. Uh, Tiger Woods Land Mine Sixty Four losing Aldi's on Med. He decided he didn't want to play anymore, so they picked up Saint on Medic, who is a sleeper. Um, Wage Slave, yeah, they're dead. I just put Alexandros on demo because I thought this was going to happen, but they are now dead. Um, blessed up, they've lost day B, and Apt has been picked up. Yeah, I believe the drama with that team, Blessed Up, which <laughs> your, uh, well, what was your team name? One of your old team names. But I believe the drama with that is Dave B was just, um, he wasn't talking too much during team fights. So, yeah, he got, he got sad zoned. And he wouldn't speak, so he kind of got the scissors. Which is respectable for the team to do that. But, you know, I guess, grow up. <laughs> I think Haiki, I think he just needed, like, a like a different team. Like, Haiki mm -hmm. just, Haiki just needed a different team. Absolutely. Uh, to make, to make it work. I think, I think he is a GOAT, and, but I think, much like Yimmy, he just, if he just plays with, like, people... Who you know played the game at a at a good point in time, then it will just everything else will just flow together. Mm -hmm. It's not something. It's not someone because that's that's at least my hot take. I could that like I said, that's just my take. Uh, it could also be that Shrigman is just a huge anime guy now, and maybe maybe Shrigman just maybe he cringed Dave B out. Maybe maybe that's the case. Maybe uh, maybe 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 Tulaman. Oh, I accidentally posted uh Tulaman in the chat. But uh, I think yeah, I think ideally he just wanted to play with people who like actually play the game like at his pace, because that's that's how Yimmy, because Yimmy liked that as well when he came back. Yimmy did not like you know playing with people and learning. He just wanted to he just wanted to have fun and try at the same time. So, which I'm not saying he wasn't trying, but that's what he wanted essentially. You know what I mean? If that kind yeah. of makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think. Yeah. Not really take it too seriously, but yeah. he really wasn't having it, I guess, because from what I heard no. from someone, it didn't sound like it. Um, nah, it, it didn't look like it either. On the sad zone here, on that sad zone note, uh, Minecraft unfortunately died. That is the fig team, and Wage Slaves is also dead. Breaking advance down to 13 teams, which should be interesting. I have a prediction. I hope we have. Still single limb, but... It needs to be like six teams. There's no longer there can't be eight teams for league playoffs at this point. In my honest opinion, if with the amount of advanced teams that died, it needs to be top four double ELM. Top I, four am, would be cool, but I eh. And that's just my honest opinion. That that's the way I honestly just see it with the amount of teams just dying. Especially since you know, since it's gonna be bagel, more teams may just die. If like, the I'm prize pool mm -hmm. gets moved up to top six. Then I can see double them being a thing, right? But I mean, where it stands right now, it can be top six, but it most likely will be top four. Kind of agree with Terry on that one. Yeah, top four, top four would just be easier, and more, and honestly, top four will be more entertaining for advanced. Absolutely. But uh, yeah. Uh, I right. think other than that, we yeah. can move on. On that note, we are going to be moving on to the matches, which should be week four of Reckoner. These are our notable matches here, which are Elemental P versus Chrondrome. Elemental P absolutely just, you know, gets the dub against Chrondrome. 
Conjurum, new map for these guys. They've been a team for a while, so surprising to see that go down. Uh, Yeti versus the uh, EME team. I always keep calling them the Paul Dog team, but they're not Paul. Paul Dog's not on the team. But mm -hmm. that was a very close game. It was uh, broadcasted on TFTV. Please mute the audio. The audio is a bit scuffed on that cast. Um, but it is a good game to watch. Nonetheless, you know, watch back as a demo. It was more or less just going them back and forth, back and forth. Really wasn't any off classes, too. So it's a really mm -hmm. good match, especially for new people trying to learn Reckoner, I guess, at like a high level NA side. Um, Yeti versus Dynasty. The 4 3. That one had a lot of off classes. That one was just really boring to watch. But that was very important because they are currently our number one and number two seed. So, true. Really match. I hope the rematch is for the, against them. Because I would like to see that on a not Reckoner map. Um, yeah, seeing that on a not Reckoner map would just be would be 100% just better. 100% better. Crunch Realm versus Goblin Zone. That was another close game, 4 5. The Gobby Zone able to take the dub there. Hmm. And our players of the week, which I forgot next week's player of the weeks. But uh, our players of the week this week were mine were Phone, yours was Jets, and W Bacon was Scarfs. I don't know if W Bacon posted his thing for last week. But he probably has an in depth detail why he picked Scarf. Um, mm. I picked Phone. He, uh, I think he dropped like a 50 bomb on his match against Yeti. So, but I mean, in my player. So, what did you expect? <laughs> uh, why'd you pick Jets? Why did I pick Jets? Mm -hmm. Uh, personally, he just kind of he kind of went. I wouldn't say crazy, but he played very smart. I would say, well, not very. He played smart during that match rather than like go for some crazy shit, especially with like the lack of uh knowledge with the map. Right. Overall, I, overall, I did I did feel that it was it was still solid. It was definitely like a solid match to uh. Down to pretty much a wire, but other than that, you know, uh, booba that's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> just just booba, man. <laughs> all right, moving on to week five, which was sunshine that was this previous week. Um, I am sorry, I did not fill it out in time, but uh, elemental P versus Yeti that one was another close game 4 3 on a not unfamiliar map. Uh, FX Death Cult versus elemental P that was a 5 2 in favor of the FX Death Cult. Elemental P mm. has just been absolutely tearing it, but they get caught in the act of the FX Death Cult. <laughs> um, Tiger Woods Land... Wait, yours is a 4-1? It was 5-2 on the thing. You better fix it. Tiger Woods Landmine 64 versus Cronjrome. That was a surprisingly close match. That one, I probably would have said, would have been in Cronj's favor. But I mean, as I was saying before, Saint has been goading it up. Being a, you know, main medic showing himself uh, around, but they unfortunately got back capped twice. So that was the L handed there. And Blessed Up versus Ulu Crew. A little bit lower on the advanced side. Very low advanced. Um, but uh, Ulu Crew is able to pick up the dub. There was some mix-ups on the match page because someone didn't know how to properly submit the score. So... It ended up being like 4-3 in favor of Blessed Up. But I just want to clarify that no. Ulu Crew, 1-5-4. Uh, players of the Week. I honestly, I didn't really have one. So that's kind of why I guess I left it blank. Yours was Vanksy. Want to elaborate on that one? Mine's Vanksy. Mm -hmm. From uh, Blessed Up. Uh, for that match? Well, in general. Yeah. Why'd you pick them this week? Oh, uh, high key. Um, I had to rewatch some VODs of him just like hard main calling, like all the time. And I mean, like, pretty much all the time. And, but what I'm also trying to say is like, Vinci, Vinci, like, hard main calls this team, like, very much like hard main calls. And, uh, just pretty much is like, has the main calling gene. I pretty much, I pretty much gave it to him for main calling gene and not because of like overall skill or overall gameplay. But rather because uh, he's very, in a sense, uh, I feel people, I feel people sleep on him, mm -hmm. per se. And this is, I know people are gonna be like, you know, it's you're his friend though, it's biased. But I very much think people sleep on Vanksy's ability to be able to call and just switch it up on, on like, you know what I mean? Like he's able to switch it up like that, like literally on a beat, on a mixture, whatever it may be. 
And I think, you know, he definitely gets credit because Sunshine has always just been his best calling map. Like one of his best calling maps, in my in my honest opinion. The, if his team's on the same wavelength and page as him, he's just able he's just able to make pretty much everything work. And you know, I definitely could have said like somebody else. I could have said like No Me, or like because I know No Me main calls. I could have said something like a mix between like. Uh, math and coach coach i could have said magma you know all those all these people but uh you know vanksy as always in my opinion i think vanksy has always just had uh a strong ability yeah yeah he's always had that strong he's very strong consistent with it and he never shuts up like not in a bad way he just never shuts up when it when it gets down to the last wire or more he's making like really really good calls like really 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 good calls honestly and I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that as uh, I don't know. I I just appreciate that. W Bacon's uh, player of the week was Zabumafu. I did not have time to write that down, but once again, mm-hmm. I'm sure he's going to have an in-depth detail on why on his uh, Google Doc page. Mm-hmm. With that being said, our league table for advanced, which uh, you know, probably going to be top six, top four, but for now, we're going to list top eight. Still, we have Yeti. 9 and 1, Dynasty creeping behind them, 8 2 to drop down a spot. FX Death Cult climbing it up again, 7 3 right now. There's actually a tie, surprisingly, right now, which is Goblin Zone and the Yimmy team are both tied 7 3 with 38 and 26 round wins and losses. That is surprising to see, especially in the middle of just randomness. Um, Elemental P is 6 and 4, uh, running it off at 6th place. Blanc making their way up top, 6-4 as well. And Crondrum, unfortunately, making it bottom top eight, being 5-5. Five and five. They still got a lot of matches to go. You know, we're at the, we're past the halfway point. So these matches need to uh, matter. Let me see so many round ones. Yeah, they, uh, I'm trying to think how, that is right, I think. I didn't mess that up. But they they have like a 68 win percentage and everyone else is at like 50 or below or 60 or below so that's like wow all right with that being said we're gonna get on our uh the good portion of the couch here switch my slides here and yep. we're gonna do our interview desktop leak I don't know totally interview desktop. <laughs> Wait, your your channel has like these scratch cards, dude. I have you like five hundred cards. You have like the Streamlabs scratch cards. I tried doing this one day, and your channel just always hoed me and never gave me a win. <laughs> All right, see, I'm losing them again. So as always, we have an interview every week, and this week uh, we had some complications with our one interviewer, but we still have a great interview. E, a word to say. Uh, and I want to welcome, uh, I want everyone to welcome Bingo to the interview seat. I think it's interviewee. Yeah, bro, it's interviewee. Or, like, guest, I don't know. Come on, Dan. I'm beating Come it. on, Dan. <laughs> Come on. But, you know, you call him Dingo, but let's be real. It's He's never from been Spy Dingo. Kids. <laughs> yeah, there you go, buddy. It's, it's you can literally call me always... whatever you want. And, uh, can, I call you, can I call you my lover? Can I do that? <laughs> I guess. I Dingo. could stop you. <laughs> you could stop me. Uh, you don't do it in Bunky. You don't do it here. We'll be fine. But Dingo, please, welcome to the couch. It's nice to have you here as Demolition Man, as Demolition Expert. Uh, the first question I actually wanted to ask you was, uh, did you like playing Scout in advance while you could have? Uh, did you like it? Was it fun? Uh, you can be brutally honest if you want to, or if you want to save face, you can. It's just the first question I'm just going to ask right out the pouch, honestly. All right, hi, Couch. Um, I don't know. I sometimes like Scout, and sometimes I did not. Like, it felt kind of weird. It um, When I hit all my shots, finally, and I would kill stuff, I, w- I didn't really feel like, yes, that was cool. I felt like, oh, finally, I did what I was supposed to. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> in that aspect, no, it wasn't very rewarding. You don't get to hit <laughs> sick-ass air shots and stuff. But, now, do you um, think uh, do you think you would have played soldier if you were allowed? Because I now dem- demo is just out of the question since it was advanced. But do you think you probably would have had fun on soldier since you know projectile 
You can have funny air shots and you can go super fast and do some. With the team I was playing on, yes. I probably would have at some point switched classes if they let me. Oh, you were also class restricted to scout and soldier. So, or no, no, sorry, soldier um, demo. All projectiles were yeah. banned. Okay, um, yeah. We might have done better with me on medic. I, I don't know. Say, we were trying. The medic card we were too. throwing shit at the wall at the at the point we were at. We went through like five players on our team. Oh my god! Just major <laughs> turmoils. I didn't know it was five people. I thought it was only <laughs> what the hell. Yes, I mean, <laughs> we we started playing with Q and Fancy. And then we had change and uh, legit. And then what change wanted to leave? And we we're gonna get Alexandros and who else did we lose? Daybreak. We lost somebody yeah. else. Daybreak. Daybreak. Yes. Was Daybreak. gonna be the demo, or Alexandros was gonna be. The yeah, demo. we're gonna pick up Alexandros and Kylor for Roro, and mm-hmm. um, <laughs> then they like got this offer to do this invite team with Sandblast. And, you know, they would obviously rather play invite. So yeah, we just made that happen. Right. And the uh, the four of us, like I was complaining a lot, so I just didn't want to play anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean it happens, man. Uh yeah. you know, over the other than that, I mean it seems like it seems like yeah, so overall it doesn't really seem like you were like all about it, but it's just like, you know, I played, I hit my shots, I, I was just like, Yeah, I'm here. I exist. I'm we had alive. some fun, we also had some hot passions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a crazy win. <laughs> it was like in the past, it was not an experience that I would have, you know, dealt with. I would have just left immediately or joined a different team. Yeah, for sure. But and- I'm just trying to be more like accommodating. You know, one of my other biggest questions that I wanted to ask that I was actually so sad that I never got to see y'all play, but whatever happened to Rebirth Esports that you played with, like, Yoshi and them back in, what, Season 5? Because you didn't play Season 6. I know that. Um, we Some of us just agreed we didn't want to play again. Mm-hmm. And then the rest of them were like, yeah, I think... It was like me and Crypt and maybe Yosh didn't want to play again or something. I'm not really exactly sure. Like they didn't want to play again at all or was just like, I'm a big know? complainer, dude. I'll, I'll just sit there in the team and be like, wah, wah. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine because I know because like that season, I think you either, you all either went. It wasn't. No, you went 12 and 6, I think, that season. And we like started the season like it looked like maybe we could beat Froyo. And then at the end of the season, like, what, we got fourth or something? I think I think so, yeah. You guys, I'm pretty sure that season you guys got, it wasn't third, because I think third was Mal. Uh, Mal got fourth. third, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You yeah, we were also, morning, we like, were very season. bitter about getting fourth, because Mal rang, I think, Lolgai and Soapy or something for mm-hmm. our playoff matches. I remember. Oh, yes. The, yeah. Yes, yeah. Holy. Yeah. So a lot we were like all very bitter about that and just didn't play again. <laughs> man, but I say because honestly, that team again, man, that team again probably would have been so nice actually, just to have an invite, just you, Yost, Virgil, because who was it? It was you. I know you were demo. It we was had Crypt and who else? Mirror Man, Soldier, or was it? Oh, yeah. Wasn't Kuku um... Kachu? It was Crypt and Mirror Man. Crypt Cuckoo Mirror Man, yeah. played like a week or something and then said he had to go. You okay. had Shamu Yosh was your scouts. Yeah. We were so like, it, uh... it was seeming really good at times. Dang. I was, just, I was just so sad to see that you guys. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I was just sad that I didn't get to, that I didn't want to, I didn't get to see you guys play again. Because honestly, like, high key, that was like the one thing I was, I was like expecting week six. I was like, yeah, I'm about to see Dingo pipe it up. I'm about to see Yo spit on people. And then season six, it's just like, oh, yeah, I'm just vibing. And then Yo, I message Yosh, I'm like, bro, where the F you at? And he's like, you know me, bro. Work, death, more work, dying at work. Yosh works a lot, too, yeah. Yeah, which I was like, you know, I, you know, it happens. It, it's something that's going to just be whatever. But, you know, that's uh, that's something. So, you know, this new team that it looks like – you have a potential of playing on. Maybe you don't. You know, are you excited? Do you like your teammates? Or is it like, eh, these hosts suck. I hate them. Like, what you feeling? What you think? Honestly, I don't know much about them. Mm. I, I know Shamu. I know who Zam is. I didn't know who was on the team until I asked in your chat. 
Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I haven't been watching it, but I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I've, right. I've been getting some messages throughout my advanced season and uh, just trying to help out Shamu because he's my friend. He's your boy, essentially. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think next? You know, if this team, because I don't know if you play with this team next season, because you know you haven't played with them yet. But do you think? Do you think you could see yourself playing next season? Actually, like either if it's like you know your LFT or it's like, f it, I'm about to just I'm about to just gather some people and just go from there. I'm trying to have some fun in it. I'm not trying to suck it up. I'm not trying to cry. You know what I mean? Like if that if that kind of explains that well. I know I talk in like a weird way, but. If that kind of gets my point across or gets it out there essentially. Yeah, I really don't know if I'm gonna play again or not. Like mm. I I had a lot of fun um on on the advanced team. I was like doing a lot of uh demo reviews for them and like watching a lot of good teams. Mm-hmm. It felt good to like learn and grind. But um I don't know. I it also like feels fun to just hang out with my normie friends who get out of work at this time and just like watch a movie with them. Mm, some vibe on vibe action okay yeah so i'm conflicted you know like i'm enjoying grinding tf2 i want to improve i want to get better Mm -hmm. but uh at the same time i would be totally fine just not playing and playing other games yeah because convert them to tf2 players I no. try, dude. I try. <laughs> he try. Yeah, that that would've been crazy. I'm in the process. You just got all your normie friends playing comp, and then they're just, oh my god, new top four team, new top, new beat, no Froyo beaters. Oh my god, that'd be kind of crazy. Bro, but nah, I think. <laughs> shut the hell up, man. <laughs> but I think, I think, you know, I just think that'd be fairly interesting because. So you're someone who's like. You, it's like you know once you get the chance to grind the game it's like it's like a whole new feeling again like oh man this is what i fucking enjoy this is not just like uh like because you said you were a complainer and you know that that comes a lot from that but i think it's very interesting to see to see that you're like actually wanting to grind like actually enjoy grinding the game because i know people especially now there are just people who who hate grinding the game or they are like how would I put it? They they make TF2 or they feel like TF2 is like a nine to five to them, if that makes any sense. And that's yeah, probably like yeah. I, I've they've been in a state where you're not enjoying playing for a while and mm-hmm. you just got to like do something else. And um, maybe I should just keep playing Scout. I don't know. I, ha- I felt good improving on Scout like every day. See, that's what that's what I'm saying, because like if you do play Scout. I don't know, because even like even if advanced, like you know, theoretically advanced gets stronger next season. Maybe they maybe they look and they're like, oh, Dingo wants to play scout. Uh, maybe we let him off soldier. Advanced looks super good. Advanced looks super healthy. Maybe we just maybe we let him play one projectile. Maybe we let him flex. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Could have been like a real situation too, where you just play on Blanc and you can play everything. I think but scout. But I, think- I don't know. I don't know that I should or want to play projectile classes in advance. Mm-hmm. Um, I could have played on Goblin Donut Scout. I should have done that. Honestly, Ooh, what happened? I, I changed my Steam name to LFT Advanced Scout mm-hmm. and just re- said yes to the first person who asked. Because uh, yeah, I remember because you weren't the only scout that was looking to play advanced. Actually, you there was you, and then surprisingly enough, there was Rakuso. Rakuso oh. was also wanting to play advanced scout. And I didn't was know like, about that. Yeah, that was like I was very... surprised. Uh, APT was uh, LFT for a while. Yeah, apt. Apt. why are, why are, yeah. Uh, why are people not season. picking up apt? People. So apparently, the reason why is like people. People really don't like App's attitude. But yeah, that's what I was told by my team. And I was like, dude, this guy's like an invite scout. Like <laughs> you you don't pick him up, he's gonna roll you. Well, it well also and then we got legit who's like pretty comparable. Yeah, legit see that legit's just like the emergency. Oh yeah, also he was people gonna don't want to pick up legit either, which legit's mental is like solid as fuck. I don't I don't know why people don't want to pick up legit. Legit's yeah. insane. I, so nice. I think it goes along the line of like, um, I think the thing that Dank tells me all the time, you know, he hates like the fact that he played on like the low uh, invite team he started off with. It's just people know him because the capital team I was on. The uh, uh, no, well, I well the the Mopsy team, the HR team. Yeah, HR yeah. team. Yeah, I like, played on some team with him and Daffodil in invite, and it was, it was not legit's fault. 
Man, legit, listen. All I can oh, tell I, you is... I know is... that. It's just like, once you've played, like, low... Well, at least some people, I think, or played low invite, they've just got that stain on their profile, pretty much. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, because my diff to my diff to career, uh, we had emo play with us actually, Dingo, and uh, some people <laughs> they don't know the, mark, the black mark on him, for dude. That. Yes, he has because on his profile it says our team went zero or two and fourteen, and one was uh, a forfeit win, and one was just like I forget the other one. It was like a bye week, but because people only know emo now if they're not super boomers. From that, they're like, damn, exactly. this guy sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not- I guess, you know, if they don't know you, that's all they can look at. It. But yeah, like, I don't know why people don't want to pick up legit or uh, who else are we talking about? Apt? Apt, yeah. Apt. But but I can understand Apt a little bit, but at the same time... I don't even know, like, there's something happened with Apt that apparently I don't know about. <laughs> yeah, the, I don't know either. P- apparently, that's, what, that's what I've been told. Like, p- people just say his attitude, but they don't tell me... They don't like. I don't hear the whole thing. I'm like, come on, man. Like, what? What about his attitude? Like, apparently just... there was an incident. Well, I don't, I don't wasn't even it? Know the details. Am I incident? Mixing I up people. Was he the post on his LFT or like Macabeus one on? No, that's XBS. That's... Oh, XBS. Okay, I don't know how. I... Yeah, that letters. was. That's why I confused them. Yeah, that that was XBS. XBS was the. Well, he also changed though. XBS XBS changed from like his, from how he used to be to now. Because apparently everyone's telling me he's like a super racist, and now it's just like, oh yeah, I love black people. <laughs> oh, attitude issues. Ah, <laughs> understand. Everybody's saying it. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know who XPS is. Ah, uh, that's also yeah, because Beepu played on the team with him, and I would just remember he would be telling me like, yeah, I play with XPS, and <laughs> anytime, anytime he get aggressive, he would just be like. <laughs> yeah. Beepoop, do Fred, this. Fred. I'm sorry, Beepoop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would never do this to you. I'm so sorry. Apologies. I apologize. I'm so sorry. But uh, yeah, maybe yeah, maybe that was it. He just regained sanity after he stopped playing mid. Because now XPS plays main. I think he plays. Well, no, he plays scout. Is what I was trying to get at. Oh, he plays. He plays main? scout. He, yeah. He well, he played advanced scout for Beepoop and did really well. Because you know the the Vince swag incident. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, after that, and then uh, he played. Yeah, you know, he played soldier in main for a little bit. He just kind of wanted to do his uh, his own thing. But yeah, not nah, between apt and legit. I was very surprised. Like I'm, I see apt like LFT for a long time, just vibing like a very very. Yeah, it long seemed time. like it seemed like nobody was gonna pick up apt. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, like at all. And to play I, advanced scout. And it's just like and like we saw what he did on the. Uh, the saxophone Safrix team last season, like give him a chance. And he, he wasn't that, he wasn't that bad. Like just let him play, man. Just, just do your thing. But now seeing him on Banksy's team, you know, besides Dave B, cause you know, like you were saying, Dave B's a goat, but they had some, uh, internal affairs. So kind of seeing him back is, is actually really relaxed or kind of seeing apt is, is relaxing, especially for Banksy team. Cause Banksy and app, uh, have, not history in terms of playing together, but they're like semi friends from what I remembered. But uh, and then like you said, like le- legit, like I I, dead, I feel like dead as someone in invite could just like legit could play. I don't even know. Would you say he could play like mid high invite maybe? I feel bigger? like he could definitely help a lot of these invite rosters. Where you think so? Like like make a low team, help them out, do your thing, and then bring them to like a mid team maybe something yeah. something like that. Okay, like he would be impactful on some of these teams. Legit, legit impact. Omg, omg. But other than especially that, especially just use abusing his sniping. Oh, true. One hundred and fifty pink sniper. Yeah. Just, Yo. just a, if you don't know what to do, just put him on sniper. Yo, that's actually facts. How did I forget that? Legit, advanced team was my team, and it died. <laughs> <laughs> he was one of the players that really wanted to keep playing. Damn. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe that's just a play. Maybe. Maybe just actually snag legit. And what happened to legit's team? Yeah, they died. Calvin. GG. They died. Man. It's GG. Beep boop. That's They're over. Nice. They died and more. But uh, I don't know. I was just. So my thing is right now because you said you didn't pay attention to invite. You know what is what is one thing in your opinion? 
like literally everything in your opinion that you would say that you wouldn't what's like one reason you wouldn't play invite like you know if you decide or not even invite it just play it all next season we already talked about your normie friends but is there maybe like a gatekeep i'd say i could say maybe is there something that would compel you not to play like if invite wasn't good or if it van looked ba- or advance like looked bad a sponsorship maybe no no shut up <laughs> not a sponsorship i guess to say if like if, if divs were just looking unhealthy do you think could you see yourself still playing along those lines or is it just like you know i want to have fun i want to grind i want to win type b something like this some along those lines i would say invite has looked a lot healthier than it has in a long time mm-hmm. so well uh, how many teams just died i don't know uh, <laughs> well, one. Well, we haven't had yeah, a team but, die in a while I mean, like the Sam, the Sam Blast team and the Um team. What, what do you call those? I mean, the the Um team died because they didn't. They wanted to make invite, but they played uh, invite qualifiers and died. That's yeah, but I mean. like, the, there's two new rosters playing this week. Oh, true. Right? I guess what you're saying there, but I mean, it hasn't happened. Completely new rosters, which are basically new teams. Mm-hmm. I guess they're not technically dead. The only real just, team would be Milky's, but I, I see what you're getting at, though. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it It's definitely not that that would deter me from playing. Like, it, it looks good. There's a team beating Froyo. There's other good players in Invite. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing, I'm guessing, well, what's the most, what's the one that's, I guess, important, I'd say, in the term of that? I'd say, I'd say, do you think, it, would you say it's like the more teams beating Froyo factor, or is it just like, Oh, we actually have teams who are wanting to play invite, in your opinion, Dinga. What do you think along that lines? Like in terms of like health and what, like overall division health, department health, health, not help and more, if that makes sense. If I need to explain. Um, so for like a while, there were like two teams mm-hmm. that were good, right? And everyone else was kind of like, you got like the semi shitters and then the real shitters in the division. <laughs> there was like an insurmountable gap between top two and everyone else. Right. And then like mix up disappeared. And then for a while, like Ascent, you know, there was a pretty big gap between one and two. Like it was pretty clear for a number of seasons that like we're clearly getting number two, we're clearly getting one, you're clearly getting three, you're not touching us in scrims. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's unhealthy, obviously. Right. And then Ascent beat him a few times, but now it's back and forth again. And that's a lot better. Um, I still think there's a pretty big gap between two and three. But, like, the, the three, four, five battle looks pretty good. I agree. So, and then, you, and then better you know, than most six, seasons. Yeah, and then, like, six, seven, eight, just like, yeah, you guys are debatable, I'd say. Yeah, but... I, I don't feel so bad about newer players that I, I definitely think like a new roster could show up and take three or four. Mm-hmm. Really, just like that? Ooh. Well, definitely four. I don't know about three. Definitely, say, if if the alpha team fucks around with their classes, definitely. One hundred percent. Holy, that's crazy. The because like I'm still fairly new. I didn't think even in RGO I've been told like or ESEA like invite has not. Kind of what you were saying, like what there's been a this like a huge distinct difference between one and two, and then or yeah, actually there are times back and forth. You you spend an entire season, and like your your scrim results don't improve. You just get the banny beat down every once in a while. Like yeah. you just you know what the places are all season and where they're gonna stay. <laughs> Dude, which is which is actually the what what's really really interesting to also see is like. This season, I don't think I've seen anybody scrim Froyo except consistently. Oh, yeah. I, except I asked a few people; they're boycotting them. Uh, that's always. I'm gonna say that. I feel like that's always happened. Well, no, it's, it's a three. specific K-pop Bob boycott. They don't want to end up in his YouTube videos. Oh, that makes more sense. Uh, <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel the... like it's still better for Froyo to play with him, though, even if they don't get to scrim invite teams all season. Which oh, is yeah, just bizarre, so travel. bizarre. <laughs> I think that's no. That's it's, they're just crazy. better with Jay. That's Absolutely, so yeah. 
That's actually crazy to think about that. It's actually just a K-pop Bob boycott. I always like Jay was... is so good that they cannot scrim and invite team all season and still maybe beat Witness. <laughs> Wait, that's actually such a... <laughs> and, <laughs> and like WG gets to scrim whoever they want out of the best teams that are available. <laughs> Wait, I never thought about yeah, I, that. I, I, I don't know about what that, that says about just Jay. Banny. That's what I thought. Or what that says about like the bot mode team giving them witness bad practice. I don't know. You could draw whatever conclusion you want. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. I didn't think. I really thought it was more like a Banny boycott. But if it's if that's it's what bo- I thought, but I I, I poked and prodded. <laughs> but if it's dead, that's just the K-pop Bob factor. That is completely understandable completely understand Dude, I've, me? I've been on the end like first of all you're getting the banny beat down and now <laughs> this fucker is running jumper and man treads and spoon and you've given up like in most of those clips he's uploaded killing me i'm not even i take my hands off the keyboard and i get up and go get a fucking soda or something because i'm pissed <laughs> off <laughs> I don't want to get the Banny beat down anymore. I'd be setting up for the, last. You got engineer heavy. You get the shovel, the Banny beat there, down. There's the one on Snakewater piece. last where he's like rolling my team, and I just stop playing because I'm fucking mad. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the twelve piece make sticky pipe combo from a The That's, shovel in, in those clips where he's just shoveling everyone, and you're like, why won't they shoot him? Literally. That's why. <laughs> It's why because last you... time I shot him, I double air piped him, and he's wearing man treads, and he still killed me. And I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> wow. That thing is oh. retarded, dude. Oh, no. Yeah, the man treads are so bad, man. I hate yeah, the weapon. The man hate... treads are so bad. <laughs> I, hate, I hate that weapon. I will shoot somebody, and I'm just thinking, yeah, he's going to stop in the air, and his momentum just carries forward, and he's about to kill me. There is nothing worse than double air piping him and dying. <laughs> there is nothing worse. To try to stop his momentum and you die. <laughs> the game is like, sorry, you didn't triple him. Oh my goodness. I guess the last two questions I will ask. <laughs> That's actually true. You double air five and you get shit off. <laughs> what more can I do? What more can I do, man? <laughs> Literal PTSD. <laughs> I guess. <It's> horrible. <laughs> I guess my last two questions. For right now, between that, you know, because we already talked about you playing a little bit, and we talked about, you know, dang, I still can't believe the boycott, the K-pop Bob boycott. <laughs> that's, that's that's actually that's actually incredible. When Land opens back up, do you think you're gonna go? Could you see yourself going to Land? Like, because I, you know, Copenhagen uh, got released, and I know that's like an EU Land, so maybe it's like <clears throat> maybe, maybe not, whatever, it may be, but uh, maybe. I don't know. Could you see yourself going to either that or let's say if RGL Land came back like 2022, their first ever, you think you'd go or would you be like, yeah, there's some cringers in the community I don't really want to meet. I'm not about that. Something like that along that line. If that was definitely my response every time before mm-hmm. that I wouldn't want to hang out with TF2 players, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. I think I would go. Because I think, I, think, I think the case now, and depending on what it may be, is there definitely some people who have the same thought, right? Like, I saw the same thing. Like, you know, there's some I, kind of people. In the past, know. I lived right next to, um, the, what was that land called? RGB. RGB? GXL. Mm, oh. GXL, okay. There was a GXL land like 30 minutes away from me, and it was like one of the biggest TF2 lands. Right. I just didn't go. So I just Dang. didn't want to. <laughs> and a lot of my homies were there, and I like regret it. So I think I would go to one now, and... Like my internet is not great. I'm I'm my parents again. I don't have fucking fiber. So mm-hmm. zero ping. Zero ping. Dude, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I'm thinking I go to the land just to experience no ping. Cause yeah. I wanna I wanna see like what my stickies actually do when I, I actually click my mouse and they come out as soon as I click, man. Even even if I care about the cringers, I just wanna play for zero ping. But Dude, I don't care about the cringers anymore. Sell my soul for zero. That's pain. that's that's kind of how I still am though. Like there are some people I just definitely wouldn't want to hang out with. But I got confirmation that you know next NA land like I got beep boop going. I got pizza or P fart or pizza fart Jordan. I got them going. So I have to pull up regardless if my boys are. And Tracker said he would go. Dude, just black people put them all in the car and just zip, just zip and zoom, man. Just go to <laughs> land. <laughs> 
<laughs> but every and then even dude, Chunky yeah. and Tashim said they'd probably so go. We gotta, Chunk- we gotta pull up the big three when we go. <laughs> dude, I may I may actually. I mean, is this the the RGB or RGL land or something? Uh, I think something with RGL. I'm but probably also, gonna go RGB. But is I, it in I, California? Is it in Cali? RGB. Yeah. Do uh, I do I have to fly across? The country? I think I think it's not RGB. in Cali. I think RGB is usually it's in, in Pennsylvania. That's usually where. It yeah, is. it's okay. in Philly. I think that's I could drive that. That'd be easy. But other than that, I've heard. I think you know majority of my boys would go, which I think was crazy. Also, yes, I've heard I've heard some horrid things about the land bathrooms. Dude, I've heard some what? horrid things about the land bathrooms. Yeah, man. what an odd topic. If, no, it, that, if I drive right. there and it's horrible, I could just drive home. <laughs> Dude, that's what I'm saying. I've heard some. I've heard some terrible, and I mean, bro, terrible. I mean, I've heard things. some fucking land horror stories, dude. Some shit that you cannot say on Twitch. Uh, oh, 100 percent, one hundred. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, for out. so long, I said no. I'm not. That's why I didn't go to this one. That was right next to me because I I heard the horror stories after, and I was I used it as confirmation. I was like, yes, yeah, see. That's why I didn't go. <laughs> yeah, this is why I didn't feel like. But it's not going. like. I would have had to watch 30 TF2 players run a train on someone and have a train run on me. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. That's the big one I heard. I was just like, there. Yo. like, you don't have to be there. I heard, I heard that, and I was like, dang, just like, like that? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm calling the I, I need to, woo, man. <laughs> I hope to God that would never happen in a room I was hanging out in. But That's what did, I'm saying. I'd have the free will to run away, get in my car, and never see those people again. Yeah, I have the I have the free reign to get in my vehicle, drive away, and never think of this interaction ever again. <laughs> but, yeah, I think – and then last question I had, you know, because, you know, land's already coming back. I'd say, have you always played Demo Man since ESEA? Because – I know you're known as Demo, but have you always played Demo since ESEA? And do you miss ESEA, or is it like, fuck ESEA? I miss the people, but like, fuck ESEA. It's the type B. That's what I get usually. That's what people tell me usually, actually. Like the p- old players that used to play in ESEA? Is that yeah. what they mean by the people? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the old heads. Like, you know, Platinum shouting the N-word across the <laughs> land venue type B. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what you think? What you think, man? Um, I I definitely miss the old head because I like fucking watched them and looked up to them when I was like a young chit. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't know the the fucking league definitely sucked and like the client and they mined bitcoins on my computer and the admins were shit. <laughs> um, what classes did I play? Uh, yeah, I played mostly projectile classes. I was a huge pugger. Like, I mm. couldn't find a team for a long time. So, it's not, it was such a shit personality. So, I just pugged for a million years. Right. And then I played soldier in my first season and then had to replace my medic in playoffs because he was taking too much Ritalin and just getting fucked up and fucking the game up. And um, then I played med for a while and then. Well, I tried to play invite and I needed a demo and I was like, Mason, I can play demo. Please let me. And he was like, no, you can't. And I had played like 5,000 pugs at that point. So <laughs> Wait, you played medic? Dude. <laughs> like probably 2,000 soldier pugs, 2,000 demo man pugs or something. <laughs> 1,000 scout pugs. That's crazy that you played. Dude, any demo that I know, like including myself, just goes from medic to demo. Like, no, like, like, you know, you have fun experimenting with other classes, but mostly it's just like, you know what? F it, man. I hate medic. I need to play the next best thing. Demolition. Yeah, demo I never liked class. medic. Dude. I went back to medic a few times, mm-hmm. but um, like never stuck with it because it's just not that fun. It's like <laughs> more fun to kill everybody. Dude, I feel like I feel like medic is fun because I like medic, but I feel like for other people, medic is probably just only fun if your team is just really good or like your team's so good that you can just play the game brain dead and just scream and say and just blame your teammates for everything. That's what I see yeah. a lot. I played med <laughs> yeah. on like ascent, and I was like, I either want to beat 
Banny as medic or not play medic? <laughs> so I didn't play medic again. Man. We, we didn't really have a shot at winning when I played with them. I feel that, man. But, you know, speaking of men, Alfredo Dan, I think it's time for the switch yeah. up, the transition. Let's get it, baby. I think it's time. Take it you away, Alfredo think Dan. You know what we're doing. We're actually going to mix it up a bit. So what instead the? of you ranking the current demo men, we're going to oh. throw it back to you giving your opinion on your top 10 demo men. Now, oh, of all time? Of, of all, all time? time? Just uh, playing currently of all time? No, it could be at any point. It could be Banny in his prime. It could be, Whoa, it could be yourself. What the? Free sticky nerf? Free sticky sure. nerf demo men? <laughs> What? Oh, what? Top the? ten with an exclamation. Now I didn't warn you about this, which I probably should have, so you could have thought about it. <laughs> what the? You have a list? Well, for no, 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 no. Go from memory. That's crazy. Okay, so where would you like to start? Ten or one? You. Top I'll one. start at one, I guess, because right, so oh I, I can't. I don't know if I'll be able to think of ten, so I'm just going to start naming people at some point. <laughs> yeah. Holy insults! Holy insults! But holy um. Insults. I think like this is something that gets talked about a lot with like sports and shit, right? You gotta like think that people are evolving. TF2 players are getting better, and so people currently are gonna be like the best, mm -hmm. right? I feel like that's that's probably fair. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. you should probably do like Habib artist one two. OMG! OMG artist number two! I'm done. Let's go, baby. That, that's the list. That's all I need. <laughs> uh, I really don't know anything about Euros. Like, I, I don't know if um, where I would put Lucas or Elacor. We can maybe cross the line if you want to. Not do... Can we, e can we put, like, Lucas and Elacor as, like, oh. the same number? Because I, I don't know who's better. I just know they're both good. We'll put Todd in Beef. parentheses. This guy says Eloquor's better. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I just shouldn't touch them because I don't know about them. So, Hi yeah, we'll, Hi we'll put in brackets, it's NA. Okay. If but, you want to do okay. that. Yeah, but I don't want to just do NA. Like, oh, okay. I want to mention, like, Termo and Cadis. True. Oh, true. And maybe a Numlocked. Oh, true. Know who that is. Yeah, I I want I didn't watch old stuff, but I heard things about Numlock, and I heard Numlock, I heard like, Numlock was crazy back. Termo never won highest DPM every I series he won to. Oh my god! Wait, wait, actually, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, team was good. They were never that great, but he was fucking good. Termo was fucking good. Um. Uh, so who's number three? I don't know. Do who lives in North America and plays demo man? Um, oh god, you have Alex. So Alex is probably one of them talked about. Alex.exe, yeah. Um, who else we got? I can think NA. I almost said Campy, Sam yeah. Campy, um, um, Taylor, yeah. Well, same person, <laughs> man. This is so difficult because, like, when you're a top demo man, you like. I always just thought everybody who I thought would maybe be a little bit worse than me, I just call shit. And <laughs> oh. every, every, anybody better than me is just like a god. So <laughs> it's, my <laughs> list is like so weird. You know? <laughs> nah, it's it's understandable though. It, it yeah, is, it, it is definitely the list. I felt like that's how I had to think about these people as my you know opponents. Mmm, as your foes. Okay, nah, that's that's doable. Yeah, I that's like couldn't doable. give them respect. I don't know. Um, okay, so let's do like termo number three. You spell that. I don't want to get that. T E R M O. T E R M O. Okay. Come on, Dan. How to ask? The ter the Terminator. Wait. Terminator. Wait, that would have been his alias is crazy. Oh my god. Right, number four. Um let's give it to Banny. Oh. The pipe Jesus. Wait, dude, that still blows my mind that Banny played demo. 
like many before. many chips under his belt to zero. Uh, that's some mitten there, shit, dude. dude. Spelling one of your letters with a number. Come on. Did Manny play? Did he play demo at first? Was that like his verse? Like, uh, yeah, I believe so. Manny yeah. played demo for a long time because demo was fucking god. And then, and then Muma, to scout. Yeah, Muma came into the picture. There was someone else before. I don't know. There's a, uh, there's a spreadsheet for Proyotech. <laughs> I can't remember. So we're at right now. Probably Hobie. would have been Duwatna. Duwatna oh my god! Benny over Watna! Oh my god! Yeah, oh my god, the... so turned! Dude, oh, he still flippin'. plays the game sometimes, by the way. I oh no, I, the... I was just saying that the first demo who played for Benny was. Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> Although he does, he should be on this list. You're absolutely. definitely right. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, um, I still see him play the game, like I was saying. Oh, he does. If you if if you're like if you got the connects, and you could probably you could probably just be like, Duat, man, can you ring for my Highlander team on Soldier? He probably would. I'll do okay. Alex Duatna. Oh my god! The, the new heads respect. Okay, Alex. Is it Alex gonna EX7. finish up? <laughs> There we go. My computer is just having a problem. Um, Alex. Yeah, Alex, Alex will, if I put Alex too far down, you'll, I'll just get too much hate for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's your list, man. F it. F it. Send it, bro. I say, have you not seen the Caps interview? I'm so no, I did not. <laughs> Dude. That's a rewatch. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that was funny, though. They, <laughs> Caps and Sophie were like, yeah, I'm the best. It- <laughs> oh, they, they, me, 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 me. Didn't they put, they put bot mode at like the worst scout? <laughs> so they put they put bot mode at eight, and then they put they put Xanda at seven, and I can't remember what they put at six, but it was so funny. That's oh funny. my god! But you got was it five more? Oh wait, he said he said uh yeah, I that? gave six to Steve. Steve. Yep. Oh my go god, Steve. Uh, I, I think I'll give uh seven to. Yeah. Uh, I guess Kato. <gasps> Kato. Holy, Kato. Holy Jesus. Oh, Kato. I am playing as Kato's. <laughs> holy Jesus. I am Jesus. talking about Kato's. Oh, okay. I wasn't stupid. Sorry, Zoomer. Zoomer I don't think that's how you spell that. Well, that would be Cadius, right? A... Oh, yeah. I. Um, I know English. Um, Bamba top 10? Probably. But he's also. Again, good at every class. I don't know. A lot of these people are good at every class. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the question. What would you consider yourself as a demo main? But then you, like, remove Banny on the list, so. Yeah. Play demo in the past and did you can, well. I'll you can get bot mode number eight. Bot mode, absolutely. What about Brand Slam? Technically played demo at some point. As demo man, a top ten all time demo man. I think he was, top 10. they were slamming it that one time. season. They started. man, these are goats. These are goats, uh, bro. I've I've never seen where it's okay. <laughs> stuff. My opinion. Um, I need to think of two more people who have played demo. Um, these are top ten of all time, all time demolition plan. Because let's see who we got right now. We got people on invite that play demo right now. We got Logan right now. You know we have Vadi. We have Pandu, Sin but Karma. Pandu. Oh, we got Sin Karma. Do, I want to do Platinum Ooh. number nine. Platinum demo, man, number nine. Yes. <laughs> the <For> infamous. The <laughs> <laughs> you got to think about the dubs. No, not, not no, Platinum. I, I'm actually uh, just a Zoomer. I am apologize. Not Platinum. <laughs> not Platinum. Platinum, bro. It's Platinum. Like Pokemon Platinum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, who's number ten? Who's played demo and who the last, have I watched? Last the number, the last number ten, the last number ten, bro, of all time. Number ten of all time. They're super sexy. They're super good. Um, <laughs> enough. Um is not, not a demo here. man. Not There's even clearly even. something missing here. I'm not seeing it. The goats of all time. What about what about Bullet, bro? Wait, Bullet. What about Bullet, bro? Nah. <laughs> Talk about him. No, no he's not I in mean, it. We should we should just I'm put Alicor here. Oh, you know what? Oh no, actually, Numlock. I wanted Numlock to be on the list. Sorry, Alicor. Your DM <sighs> is like a hundred times better than Numlock's was, but he won things. 
<laughs> oh, no, no. Competitive. <laughs> you won things. No. It's not fair, dude. Right. It's not fair to compare Eloquid and Unlocked. It's right. rigged. You want to revise it's anything? Rigged. Or you want to explain these, I guess? You haven't already explained No, I'll, I'll just say that I didn't know where to put Eloquid or Lucas, so they don't appear on the list. Okay, fair enough. Eloquid definitely should appear somewhere on the list, but I like don't know anything about, you know, I, I just know he has sick DM. I don't know, like, if the good people are playing in Europe, if he's winning when the good people are playing, if he's playing now. I, I just don't know enough about him to oh accurately list him. Oh, my flipping goodness. This list is lit! But he could, like, appear anywhere from 3 to 10. This, this right. list is lit. So nothing, nothing to elaborate on? Something else, I guess. Um, no, all these guys suck, by the way. Oh, oh. all right, we forgot to put you down. So we'll put better, you. better than all these players. <laughs> oh, yeah, put, put put Dingo at number one. Actually, just go ahead and do it. Just just put Dingo at number one, and we'll 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 go from there. there also, another thing to note: number one and two uh -huh. players. I've done demo reviews reviews for, given advice to, based you, my children. Wait, you yeah, demo reviewed yeah. Habib? Yep. One what? and two. What? So Dingo is actually just a teacher. Yeah. Oh, oh my flipping gosh. Maybe that's why Dingo's so loved. I don't I don't think that's a coincidence. I think I think I think you're just the you're actually just oh my god. He's just a genius. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what? And just as I say that, I think this is I think this is the end of the segment. But Dingo, please, thank you, for coming on the couch, giving us your opinions, giving us your thoughts, for making fun of Alfredo Dan with me. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, I love making fun week. of I love making fun of Alfredo Dan. I'm just and uh, you should hit your but you should hit your bong yeah. rip before we end it. Oh, hit your bong um, rip. Sure, yeah. You Thanks for having your, me. It was fun. Of course, hit your bong rip before you go. Yeah, of course. This is gonna be this is gonna how it's always be, Dan. You have anything to say as he's about to hit his bomb rip before he goes? I just oh. did it. I don't know oh. if the mic caught him. It, it caught it a bit. It yeah, caught it a bit. Caught yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, baby. You got anything to add, Dan? Before we go ahead and dip, and I'll hit my news? Nah. I think that's all. Thank you, Dingo, right. for coming on, of course. Thanks, uh, boys. Good luck yes, to sir. you in uh, whatever team you are going to be playing for. Please play. If you Global play. Ice. Right. Oh, my God. Global Clan Ice. Oh, my leet, God. Leet, leet. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. God. I, I was saying this in your chat, but new Global Clan Ice roster that we're trying is um, Shimu Exile Scout, Zam Ether Soldier, Me Demo, Sky Med. What the? What the Zam, Dam, Zam Soldier invite? <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, Whoa! Yeah, yeah, they were saying his soldier is nutty. I saw him on Scout last night, and he was fucking insane. So okay, okay. If, if it doesn't work, I'll just play Soldier in Exile. Okay. We'll go back on oh. demo. Oh, true, true, Thanks. true, 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 true. Maybe, maybe it's like a situation. True. Maybe it's like a situation where Zam's like, Zam has got the team behind him. So that's why. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like team-wise, not individual player. But you, you're right. But, uh. Next week, uh, I have some stuff for Dan and I planned. It's also payday, so uh, expect some uh, I'm graphical. Paid. I'm getting paid. Uh, oh. Expect some graphical changes. Your boy's going to get his first big boy check from his internship. It's actually going to be so nice. So, you know, just, you know, expect some graphical changes here and there try hopefully gonna get us a different background so we're not flash banging everybody on the <laughs> yeah, that's true i get that complaint <laughs> not, a lot since we're not flat so so we're not flash banging people because people hate being flash banged understandable though very very understandable but you know gamers hate that, the sun you do gamers hate the sun that's actually just a fact but other than that yeah i think i think that's it dan's gonna host somebody actually this time and not just end the stream you know what? I got someone who you can host. Host Terry right the F now. Host Terry. Terry WJ is streaming oh, Among Us. Us. I think I'm going to go join him. <laughs> Terry WJ uh, is streaming Among Us. Oh, we did do shoutouts. Always. Yeah.
Always do you have a shout out? out? You can do it as a rating. It does it rating takes like it takes like five minutes to raise somebody. Man, for me, shout out Beep Boop, shout out Tracker, uh, shout out everybody in the Bunky Discord. Man, shout out my Highlander team. Uh two times double XP social credit. Uh I hate you, Axio. F you Phelps. Uh, <laughs> uh I think that's that's it for me, man. Just Bunky, you know, my boys and psh, that's it, man. That's that's it. What you got you got something, Dan? No. 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 Yeah, Dingo, you got any shout outs before we oh, go? Shout out your mom, Jamon. Shout uh, out to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Wait, absolutely. Amen. Amen, man. A- absolutely just amen to that. All right. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm rating him now. Well, yep. Okay. See you guys next week. Uh, Jamon Penny has graphical updates. God bless Jesus. I love Jesus.